Hello, you guys. Welcome back to As Told by Kenya. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. We are here to talk about some topics. I don't know if this is hot topics. A little New Year's resolution that I had for myself this year was I am going to be all funnies, no discourse. I have no desire to engage in discourse with people who I don't think are smart. That is where I am in the year 2023. I think the average person on social media who starts a lot of discourse is a little bit dumb and I have no desire to go back and forth or get irate about people who I do not think are all that smart. So I have decided to not really be in any discourse, which means that <laughs> I have not really been uh, seeing a lot of discourse because I just have no desire. I just, I feel like we have said everything that needs to be said. I don't want to do it anymore. I am going to do my makeup. Do you guys want to know what I use when I do my makeup? I don't know if you care, but like tried and true my milk makeup, milk makeup hydro grip. That's what I'm going to use. Then I'm going to go in with my Danessa Myricks yummy skin little glow serum. And then I'm going to go in with the little blurring little powder thing. I'm going to get this all out of the way quick. I haven't decided what foundation I'm going to use, but I'm either going to use the Rare Beauty little uh tinted moisturizer or I'm going to use Revlon. And then everything else is pretty much... The same i'm going to use the rare beauty remember when i put y'all on to these i feel like i was like i was one of the first people to talk about how fucking amazing these things were years ago and now i can't even get any of the colors because they sell out just like that we're actually going to start there you guys it's so funny because people always talk about the beauty community and how the beauty community is dead and all of that stuff because we don't have big, big influencers right now. And I think right now the social media space is the most interesting it has been in a while because what we are seeing right now is actually there are influencers. When you see who is really getting people to buy stuff, there really are influencers. But it's so interesting because I think what an influencer looks like is what is evolving like we're used to seeing influencers gucci down to the socks like you know their little neutral homes and you know all the glitz and all the glam but i feel like these days the average influencer is like a regular person and that comes with good and bad because number one I do not believe the people who are influencing major like things right now are getting paid for I think a lot of regular people have become influencers by regular people I mean people who clock into jobs every single day like social media is not their number one job they are the ones getting people to purchase things, but there really isn't a lot of money going to those people. Like those people recommend stuff and like maybe they get sent stuff for free and stuff, but like the people who are really getting people to buy stuff and getting people to do stuff are not usually the ones who are getting like the big brand deals. And I think that's really, really interesting because the people who are getting the big brand deals, I don't know if they can necessarily bring in a lot of people to buy their stuff and you could say okay with the rise of TikTok but I would disagree with that I think for the past like five years there has kind of been a shift in that way probably 2019 to now there has been this shift in influencer culture where if you are a big influencer I think it's a lot harder for you to convince somebody to buy stuff I really really do I think I follow big influencers I have my big influencers that I like and when I see them recommend stuff I kind of take it for a grain of salt like they have bills to pay they get paid big money to promote stuff I kind of take it with a grain of salt because we've seen them recommend so much shit like if you followed influencers for a long time you've seen them recommend stuff and literally never use it again so you're not really you don't not that you don't listen to them but you're kind of like okay this is your next plug this is the next thing that's gonna pay your bills and keep you in your nice ass home in LA so you kind of don't really 
literally listen to them. But when you get people, I would say in like the 800,000 subscribers or 800 followers in down range, those are the girls who like I've been listening to for the past five years. Those are the people who I'm like, oh, you're plugged in. Like you're the person who is going to put me on the up and up. And it's so interesting because I don't think those people necessarily get the pay that they deserve for being so influential. Those are the people, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe those are the people who we really listen to, who we are really like, oh, let me look at those things. Because when I go to the store these days, if you see something that you usually used to buy and it be sold out, what's the first thing you think to yourself? Oh, this must have been viral on TikTok. This must have been viral on TikTok. And usually it has. And it's just some random person who said this thing was good. And like, it's everywhere. So it's so interesting that the proof is in the pudding. Like, regular people are getting people to buy stuff. And I think that change has been something that has been happening for a while. I think TikTok kind of, you know, made it big. But like I said, for the past five years, we've been seeing that. We've been seeing more the micro influencer or someone with a smaller platform being able to, like, that's who you really listen to. And now with TikTok coming along, it's really that way. Like, you really listen to the people who own the ground. I think it's more of that. Like, you don't really feel like big influencers are on the ground. It just doesn't feel that. And that could be right, that could be wrong. I just think that as time keeps going, we might see less and less brands invest in big influencers because I just don't believe that there is proof that these influencers bring people to the stores. I just don't because I know when I see a big influencer showing off something like that they bought, if it's if they don't go out of their way and say not sponsored, I really don't care. I really don't care. But a regular degular person, like I, I'm going to listen to because it's just like, what you got to lie from to me for? And that's flawed because people got to lie every day. Because with that being said, we are also once again seeing the rise of undisclosed sponsorship. We are once again seeing the rise of undisclosed sponsorship. A lot of these regular folks be giving y'all undisclosed sponsorships because there's really no crackdown on it. You know, when every time something new comes along, it's hard for people to really monitor and stuff we are seeing people do undisclosed sponsorship undisclosed sponsorships are rampant on twitter undisclosed sponsorships are rampant on tiktok and undisclosed sponsorships have always been rampant on youtube and that is another big thing that is happening you will see a big influencer say that something is sponsored because they have shit to lose they have shit to lose and they don't want to get caught up in nothing but the regular regular person is just like sure if you don't want me to disclose this sponsorship who the fuck cares and it's like eek Eek. So you are seeing the rise of that. But that being said, I said all that to say, because I deeply, I have never thought about buying anything from House Labs or Makeup by Mario, but I have both the foundations in my shopping cart. And people, I've seen big influencers talking about both of those things, and I didn't listen to them not, not one bit. I didn't listen to them not one bit. I was just like, whatever. But now that the regular Jagala girls are saying those things are good. I'm like, ooh, let me go get it. Ooh, let me go get it. You know what I'm saying? It's really interesting that way. So that's been on that's been on my mental. It's been on my mental the different um tactics. And like I think the fall of the big influencer, it's not just a TikTok thing. I think the the fall of the big influencer is something that we've been seeing. Now I do think there's a difference. Like if you're a lifestyle girly. If you're a lifestyle girly and you've always leaned lifestyle, you probably don't see this issue because that's always been you. But I mean the girlies who like do whatever they need to do to make a buck. And like, I'm not judging, like do what you gotta do. But I do think sometimes your credibility goes away. Is this dark or like perfectly my shade? I don't know. I haven't used this. Actually, I used it the last time I put on makeup. I used this. So like, mm, I think it's good. Yeah, it looks good. Anyways, let's move on. Lori Harvey got a new man and y'all upset. You guys know, like, I feel like was, was I the first person to jump out and say I'm a Lori Harvey stan? <laughs> was I the first? Uh, y'all know I love Lori Harvey. Y'all know I love Lori Harvey. There is one thing about Kenya. 
I love a cute girl. <laughs> I love a cute girl. And Lori Harvey has just always given me cute girl. And I love a cute girl who shuts the hell up. I love a cute girl who knows how to be cute and leave us alone. And Lori Harvey gives us that. She seems sweet. She seems nice, and I like Lori Harvey so much so, you can't even judge me. Hold up. Okay, it's not readily available to me, but I bought Lori Harvey skincare line. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, and I used it all too, and I used it all too. Did I repurchase? No, but it's just because I'm lazy. I like, and I'm on tretinoin, so it's like, it. <laughs> there's no point for me to use it right now. Like, my skin is fucked. Uh, my moisture barrier is literally demolished because of tretinoin. So it's just not the time yet. Well, let me get right and then I get right. Anyway, so you know, I love Lori Harvey. And so like, she popped up with Boy from Snowfall. With Boy from Snowfall. Y'all know I watch Snowfall too. So like, I'm plugged in. I'm plugged in. I watch Snowfall. I love Lori Harvey. So I'm plugged in. But baby, you cannot pay me to give a fuck. <laughs> You could not pay me to give a fuck. I like Lori Harvey because she's a cute girl and all that. But I promise you, me, I got real problems. I got a real life to live. And I am so sorry. I am not living vicariously through Lori Harvey. And I am also not about to waste my fucking time hating on Lori Harvey. Men to the front. Explain to me, men, why y'all care so much who Lori Harvey is dating. The bizarre thing about it is... Lori Harvey is always going to be Miss Niggas. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Lori Harvey can be with whoever she wants to be with. Like, that's just, you know, when you look as good as her, like, that's, the, her, her dating options are just plentiful. It, they're just plentiful. And I think, you can ca call me wrong, call me wrong if I am, but I believe that a lot of you are upset that she's Miss Niggas because y'all think too highly of niggas. <laughs> Y'all believe that these men out here are not going to want to attach themselves to her because what? She's dated other men and every time she pops up here with someone y'all look up to or someone y'all like, it upsets y'all and I don't really understand that for a few reasons. Number one, like... Her last two men is the dude off Snowfall and Michael B. Jordan. Like, I'm not up here judging or nothing, but, like, that don't move the needle for me. <laughs> that don't move the needle for me. Like, great guys, great guys. But all I'm saying is it doesn't... So I don't understand why you, someone who is claiming to be heterosexual, why that moves the needle for you. Why do you care? who she's popping up with why do you like what what about that upsets you because it seems like y'all meet her with so much animosity like she can't keep getting away with this and it's like getting away with what dating people getting away with what being a beautiful woman and dating dating the men of the world like what are you really saying here i think it's literally because y'all have come up with this idea in your head that lori harvey is a certain thing and that men who are respectable wouldn't want to be with her and she proves y'all wrong every single time so it begs the point that maybe y'all should just mind your business maybe y'all should mind your business and stop judging women so much and worry about your home 